Okay, so welcome back to my YouTube channel again. And in the previous lecture, we have talked about the blinking of a LED and we have tried to explain you the concept that has been used for the blinking of a LED. So in this lecture, we will going to talk about how to write a program and we will going to understand what are the various steps we have to take when we are writing the program on the Arduino IDE. So now you can go to the new file and then you will going to see that you will be getting this window. So by default, when you are writing a program on the Arduino IDE, so you will be getting the file name as a sketch underscore 517A. Okay, so A denotes that this is the first program which you are writing on the 17 fab. Okay, and if you are using the another program, you have not saved this program and you are opening the another program. So that will be started with the sketch underscore fab 17 B. Okay, so these are the by default the name is being taken. So the by default name that is being taken by the Arduino ID is the sketch underscore the month which you in which you are writing your program and the date of that month and then a b like now next we have got this icon which has been tick icon which has been used for the compiler and uh, the arrow button which has been used for the uploading of your program and since we are uploading the program on the esp32 so we have to talk about the esp32 now we have got two things one is the void setup and another is the void loop okay so the void setup means that when you have to put the code here which has to be runs once only so if you remember that we have taken an example of the led okay so this was my led and i was connecting it with the esp32 on the pin number d so what i'm saying that i have to define here the pin mode and what we are saying in the pin mode that what is the pin number where we are connecting the LED and what is the function that I want this as a output. So I'm writing here that, okay, my LED should be taken as a output. So what is the mode? So we are defining the mode as a output. Then we have got a while loop function. So while loop function, if you remember, we were writing the digital right here. Okay, that means we have to make the LED on and off. So how many times we have to make the led on how many times we have to make the led off so it will going to depend on the loop because we are repeating this on and off process okay therefore we are writing this thing on our digital right here okay so i hope that the concept of how to write a program on the arduino id is clear to you so in the next lecture we will going to write the blinking of a led program here thank you very much for watching my video.